2023, INEC Chief Festus Okoye reacts to allegation of underage voters registration in the North. Welcome to the news. If you are new, kindly subscribe. And if you have been there supporting this channel, I say bravo, thank you, as you continue to like and share. As the country continues its towards the 2023 general election, Dr. Festus Okoye has come out to react to claims that some officers of the Independent National Electoral Commissioner, INEC, are conducting underage voters' registration in the northern region of the country. In case you are not aware, Dr. Okoye, who is INEC National Commissioner and Chairman of Voter Education Committee, who was a guest on a TV program with Zobia, discussed the upcoming election, among other issues. He said, however, during the interview, a man called in to accuse INEC of conducting underage voters' registration in the northern region of the country, while frowning at such parties in the south. In his reaction, Dr. Koye dismissed the allegation as a figment of some people's imagination adding that nothing could be further from the truth. Going further, the INEC chief argued that the commission has staff from various ethnic backgrounds stationed at its offices scattered across the country. He then went on to disclose that apart from the fact that the commission Abuja headquarters is equipped with technology that can detect underage registration, INEC officers on the field are also mandated to demand proof of evidence from people whose age comes under suspicion. The issue is that some people just sit at home and begin to imagine certain things in their heads. When you visit any of our offices scattered across the Federation, you will notice that our staff are from different parts of the country. You will see Igbos, Houses and even Igbira, people working as I next time. So then why is the suspicion rampant? People see before they come out to make comment. And I'm sure it is what people have observed, what they have seen during election days. That is why this removal will not go away. So nobody will see on the rich person and register them to vote. But is it possible that a, the eligible voters are people are registering multiple registration are given to these younger ones to go and vote? Have they been able to check or detect that? Apart from that, we also have facilities in our office that can detect underage registration when a nine-year-old child visits a registration center claiming to be 18 years of age. Our staff will demand a document of proof, he said. How many proofs have they been able to check? Well, this kind of comment would definitely elicit reactions. A lot of reaction has come up on this. Check all those accusing INE of underage voting. They think they know, yet they don't know nothing. They are mostly from a particular part of this country. They send videos to that effect are available to see. And you are still doubting by tagging a tribe or a region where we are not ready for this country. Oh, now I remember that one Felicia is the end product of one of these issues. Instead of listening and promising to look into the matter, the man is justifying what is happening. Well, Mr. Festus, you appear to have visited from the mass. It is an established fact that there was a lot of underage registration and voting in the north during the 2019 election. I wonder what led you to believe that it is not happening again or that it is a figment of the imagination of the complainant. The underage voters from the North is more than 4 million votes. Mr. Okoye, don't deceive Nigerians because the words you are wearing on your hand, you doesn't need a mirror to look at it. It is time. The issue of underage voting has been in the North for a very long time and still dirty tomorrow. So what you are supposed to be telling Nigeria now 
is that any is finding a way to copy it and know that it doesn't exist. Even you used to talk about it when you were with the civil rights group before joining any. So please don't deceive Nigerians because you want to defend your paymasters. That is why you are talking with the two sides of your mouth. Who are the uncultured people? Can you imagine people talking as if they know everything? You mean you didn't see the underage voters and the not during previous elections? This is the worst reporter from INEC. In recent memory, the truth is that children less than nine years voted in 2015 and 2019. So where were their age detection machines? I pray that the new system will help this time. Otherwise, no children, more children will vote in 2023 and beyond. Because in the North, it is the norm. But why did First Okoye deny the fact that children had always voted in elections in the North? With pictures of children lining up, branding his voters' card, and actually being accredited to vote and then going ahead to vote? No, sir. Underage children do vote in the North. Well, it is for INEC to come out with every fact to make sure that this, if it has been happening, to make sure that this is stopped. I live in the north and I witnessed that several times. If they don't issue them voters cow, how come they are the queue during voting period? Okoye is a typical Nigerian elite. You are seeing the things happen at every election circle. Children lining up in the north to vote. Are we blind? I next should do the needful and stop coloring the situation. This INEC official don't want us to know or say the truth, even when there are several videos clipped to prove as an evidence that the Northerners don't even deny the accusation. They even claim that in their own way of politics. What about voter registration in Niger Republic? Until Igbo starts doing the needful, let us all go out and register when it is time. Well, this is a lie from the pit of hell. We have seen it and we are still seeing it. Southerners are pitiful. In the past, the alleged cows were counted as people during the census. Now they claim on the age registration. They make all these baseless claims without any evidence, just because they know they are at number and there's little or nothing they can do. Did they say why it was removed from Abuja and moved to the regional office? We don't need to know that. Let him defend what he knows. First, also, Koye seems to be ignorant of what desperados can do in political space, especially in this country that nothing is impossible with politicians. Of course, this has been happening. And I asked, have I not got reading of the errant officers in their midst who can bend the rules because of financial inducement. Well, if this is happening, it must stop. We must get it right for us to move forward as a nation. What is your own opinion on this? Kindly make it known as you subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you again.